Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session, the uh, Wednesday, 9th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, Asian markets overnight certainly trade on the weaker side. US markets certainly seem to be uh, pushing higher overnight. The futures certainly are surging, even though we had Mr. Trump pull out the Iranian deal. So uh, U.S. equity is showing immense strength so far. I certainly expected a risk-off session, given the fact that Mr. Trump certainly pulled out, creating ge geopolitical uncertainty in the globe. Uh, certainly is risk negative. But the market certainly seem to be interpreting it a different way, so we have to react accordingly. Uh, oil prices certainly going higher. I mean, not above the $71 level. Uh, oil prices surging that certainly increases costs okay of to production and therefore that certainly is a risk negative yeah the market certainly are interpreting that as being bullish so we just have to respect that for now because you can see here 71 dollars so level certainly being paced at the moment so certainly has been an astronomical run on oil prices okay so again geopolitical uncertainty from my perspective initially as you can see the oil prices sold off and then They've certainly rallied thereafter. Uh, from my perspective, uh, it certainly is considered risk negative. I'm certainly holding that view due, due to geopolitical uncertainty and obviously oil prices creating inflation, which in turn obviously increases interest rates and in turn obviously increases the costs of production for several companies. And therefore, that has a net, net negative effect for the consumer, which in turn obviously causes the equity prices to tumble. So again, from my perspective, uh, certainly is risk negative. Uh, the markets certainly are interpreting it in another way. Uh, this morning, economic data as well, uh, be it like for like, retail sales out of the UK, absolutely dismal, came in at minus 4.2%, yet the FTSE surging on the back of obviously oil prices and commodities. So it certainly is a strange market. Uh, so one, certainly I'm uh, finding it very hard to sort of predict this week, especially given the fact that the dollar certainly continues to surge as well, uh, post NFP miss. Certainly, uh, certainly, obviously the uh, Iran deal certainly has helped oil price, the dollar as well. Yesterday's economic data from the US certainly was stronger than expected. So again, arguments there for the dollar to certainly rise certainly are, are strong. In terms of European data this morning, let's just quickly go through that with you as well. Uh, industrial output from France certainly fell, so therefore risk negative. Uh, retail sales from Italy certainly came in negative as well, therefore risk negative. So from that perspective, uh, all EU, EU data more or less has been negative, therefore looking for risk off. Geopolitical uncertainty surrounding Iran, again risk off. This market continues to go higher, so certainly uh, quite um, baffling at present, let's put it that way. Okay, in terms of the technical picture, let's look at the German DAX, hits double top at 12,960. Uh, the next potential level you are looking at is gap fill around the 13010, so watch out above. In terms of the French CAC, again, we're still holding that uh, potential resistance at uh, 5340 double top scenario there, okay. Uh, 10 minute chart, you do have gap fill resistance above at 5530, so watch out there. Again, looking for a potential move lower, given the fact that the daily chart obviously is into resistance. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, this continues to defy everyone. As you can see in the weekly chart, we've broken through that key resistance zone now above 7600. Certainly is uh, pushing higher. Uh, daily chart, the pivot high you can see here was around 7600. We've actually broken through that up to 7615. I think the pivot high was previous support equals resistance around 7610. So watch out for resistance there. But again, oil prices continue to uh, trigger a surge in the FTSE 100 as well. So watch out there. Okay, keep an eye on this potential diagonal trend line. Let's see if we can hold that. Uh, this key diagonal trend line certainly is holding thus far, so watch out there as well. Okay, looking for a, a rising contracting to potential wedge pattern. So let's we'll take the pivot low here, just connect it to pivot low. Let's see if we can break lower on that basis. Okay, 10 minute chart on the FTSE again, you've broken out that key resistance of 7600. You have to respect that for now. Okay, again, the unfilled gap remains below at 7566, so the market certainly is vulnerable. To that closing as well okay so i think that's a good summation really of european equities be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs take advantage of our bonus and be sure to download the latest trade signal app goodbye now